Aloha! I'm Scotty for Scotty's Tech.info here with my co-host Cletus. And the topic for today is... Shh! It's better. <laughs> the topic for today is uh, building a Faraday box. So, okay, you have no doubt heard about, uh, through Edward Snowden, a little while ago, about the, the whole NSA spying scandal. Surprise, the NSA is spying on everyone. Oh! Uh, and then not long ago, it was WikiLeaks' turn with the Year Zero spiel, uh, where basically it also became basically public knowledge that, in fact, the CIA is also spying on you, your family, your grandmother, and your dog. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the deal is that, uh, basically with, with the WikiLeaks year zero thing anyway, uh, they revealed things like, oh, by the way, um, if you have a smart TV with a camera on it, even if the TV is off, uh, the bad guys can enable the camera and microphone on your smart TV. It will appear off to you, but they can spy on you and watch and listen to, say, your exciting conversations about which IKEA furniture to buy next. Which is, you know, it's, it's productive, you know. Tax dollars at work. Good job, guys. Uh, yeah. So, of course, the same is true with uh, smartphones, for example because smartphones have cameras and they have microphones. And uh, some people, when, you, when they're not using their smartphone, they remove the battery, right? Okay, so if you remove the battery, it's highly unlikely that it will be used to actually spy on you. Some smartphones actually have, uh, in fact, many smartphones these days have uh, batteries that are not removable, which means even if it's off, it could be turned on remotely and used to listen in on conversations and this sort of thing. Now, I know you have nothing to hide and blah, 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 which, yeah, you, you have nothing to hide. Um, everyone has something to hide, namely their privacy. Part of being free is basically the right to privacy. Um, Everyone has something to hide because everyone has something that they don't want the whole rest of the world to know. Even if it's something they're doing that's not evil and it's not illegal. And even if it's something that the whole rest of the world is also doing. You kind of don't want that. You know, you don't want some creepy guy sitting in a, a van somewhere or in some, like, you know, mysterious spy headquarters somewhere watching everything you do because that's just kind of creepy, you know. So... Yeah. Now, one of the things you can do, of course, is uh, for, your, for your smart TV, of course, you can unplug it when you're not using it. Or if it's connected with Ethernet or Wi-Fi, just disconnect the Wi-Fi when you're not using it. If it's not connected to the network, it can't spy on you. Uh, unless there's some, you know, maybe we'll have the, the FBI revelations next that, oh, the FBI is spying on you, too, and they can spy on you using your TV when you smashed it with a baseball bat. You know, it's, we'll see. Anyway, so um, some people remove the batteries from their smartphones. Uh, some people also, uh, you may have seen a little while ago, there was a, a very interesting image of Mark Zuckerberg, founder and CEO of Facebook. And of course, he was, he's, uh, I think he was at Facebook and he, he was at a laptop. Uh, and everyone was kind of like, oh, they were sort of freaking out because he had put a piece of tape over the camera of his laptop. Um, yeah. Um, if, if you or I do that, we're crazy, paranoid conspiracy theorists. But when Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, does that, Facebook, of course, being essentially a giant data mining operation, we go, ah, he's, he's smart. Yeah. Right. So, also, I want to mention one other thing. The, uh, in the WikiLeaks zero, Year Zero revelations, which we all knew was happening anyway, uh, there was, a, there was a, a little excerpt that was shared on certain media outlets anyway about how Komodo antivirus software 
they had upgraded it from, I forget, it was like version 6 point something to 7, something like that. There was a new version that came out, and they were, the new version had a gaping security hole in it. And, of course, the CIA guys were talking about this, saying, oh, we love it, it's like you could drive an 18-wheeler through it, it's a huge hole. But they were also irritated because the Komodo user base had gotten wind of this, and they refused to upgrade to the new version. And they were classified as paranoid bastards by the CIA. Now, this is pretty funny, because by definition, if I think that the CIA is spying on me, I'm crazy, I'm a conspiracy theorist, and of course I'm paranoid, right? But if it turns out that the CIA is actually spying on me, then by definition I'm not paranoid anymore. That seemed to be lost on them. So apparently they're very good at hacking. But in terms of all other types of thinking, not so good. Okay, anyway, what I wanted to talk about is if you have a cell phone and it has an, a non-removable battery. You can buy a thing on Amazon. I'll put links in the description. You can buy a thing on Amazon called a Faraday bag. Now, it's a Faraday cage, basically. What is a Faraday cage? There was a dude, an English dude, by the name of Michael Faraday, who I believe it was in 1836, uh, invented, invented, the, more like he discovered, uh, a Faraday cage, which essentially just means you have your gizmo, this is your gizmo, and if you take the gizmo and you surround it in a conductive metal shield or shell or casing, and there are no large gaps anywhere. It will prevent your gizmo from transmitting or receiving radio signals. Technically, it attenuates the radio signals to such an extent that uh, nothing gets in or out. Uh, and I believe technically it's actually the electric field, blah, blah, blah. It's just all you have to understand is if you take your smartphone or your tablet or your wireless gizmo and you put it inside one of these boxes or bags that's shielded with conductive metal foil or whatever, conductive metal, it prevents signals from getting in and out, therefore no one can spy on you. So, I think that the, the whole, I mean, the, the Faraday bags, they're, they're super duper and they're, they've got an emblem of like a, you know, American police badge on it and they're law enforcement approved and all this other stuff. Yeah. Or, of course, you could just take some aluminum foil wrap your phone in aluminum foil, sure, that's going to work. But aluminum foil is flimsy, it tears, you got to wrap it up nicely, it, and it doesn't look very nice. So what I did is I got one of these. Uh, you can get any kind of box you want. Um, this one is from Amazon. And it's basically just a pretty little wooden box made in India, hand-carved in India, obviously, because it's being... Uh, mass-produced and sold in bulk on Amazon, so yeah, I'm sure this was... And you can see it's got the nice fuzzy interior, and um, yeah, it's, it's a nice box. It's, you know, well, it's, it's pretty nice, and it's, it's exactly the right size to plop a smartphone inside. But of course, there's no conductive metal in here. Uh, so what we do is we use this stuff. This is HVAC tape, uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. It's basically just aluminum foil, uh, possibly a little thicker. It's it's a little more durable than, than aluminum foil. It's aluminum tape with adhesive on the back side. And if you measure using a, like a, a, a multimeter, you can measure across here and you'll notice that it's conductive. Aluminum is actually an excellent conductor of electricity. So this stuff is ideal. And you can buy this. You can order it on Amazon. I'll, again, put a link down in the description. You can go to your, your Home Depot, your whatever, whatever your hardware store is wherever you live, and you can buy this stuff. Um, it's not terribly expensive, and what you're looking for is HVAC aluminum tape. So that's it. So all we're going to do, basically, is line the inside of this box with this tape. Now, the shiny side of the tape is conductive. Obviously, the adhesive side is not conductive. Uh, that doesn't really matter. The important thing is that, basically, you're going to Try not to break your box, as I might have just done there. Uh, line, put, put strips of tape along here, up the sides, and especially you want to make sure that you get some tape over the edge here, 
and then also on the inside of the box make sure it goes like this so that when you close the box you're going to have a nice a, your tape will be overlapping so you're not going to have you can't have any gaps in in the metal tape so that's pretty much it so um it's stylish it's sassy and yeah so you just you find a little box you line it with this tape and you've got a little Faraday cage so I'm going to do that now here uh, probably fast forwarding and off we go Right, so there you go, that's it. We now have a nice shiny box lined with foil on all the edges. Uh, you may notice on this edge down here some of the foil got scraped. You can actually trim some of that off if you need to because there's a bunch of foil up here overlapping. So as long as the foil on the top here is more or less touching this stuff, you've got a, you've got a nice tight seal and you'll be okay. And that's it. And then all you do is you take your smartphone uh, pretend that's a smartphone and you put it in your box and you close the lid and uh, yeah that's it no more signal uh, if you want to you can do what I did which is get a little ratty old piece of plexiglass here cut it to size uh, this is just a spare piece so that's why it's so hideous uh, stick some little rubber feet in the bottom and there you go now you'll protect your uh, you're the the tape from being from being torn if you toss your phone around, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can either uh, you can either get a get a law enforcement approved super Faraday bag, which is really ugly, or you can get one of these. Stylish, effective. Um, also. Uh, this guy will also block uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything. So, um, especially if you have a phone without a removable battery, you just pick up a little box somewhere, you pick up some of this, this HVAC aluminum adhesive tape, you just do some taping, takes about 10 minutes, and you're done. And when you don't want uh, anyone listening in, you just, uh, you can leave the phone on if you want, there's not really any point, throw it inside the box, close it, and it's completely cut off. 
Uh, I tried it with, with my 4G phone in uh, various locations, especially where there's a strong signal, and it blocked everything. It blocked cell phone signal, no cell connection, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, no anything. So, uh, and by the way, this works a lot better than uh, uh, a microwave. That's not going to work very well. A uh, refrigerator, definitely not going to work very well. Um, this works very simply, and if you've got a box lying around, all you need is some of this tape. You stick it in, and you can even leave it sitting on your desk, you know, because it's, it's stylish. No one will ask any questions. Uh, no one will ask you why you're a paranoid bastard, because you're keeping your smartphone in, in a, a Faraday box. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, that's about it. Um, for more techie tips, see my website, scottystech.info. Thanks, and see you next time.